They're, yeah. they're in the middle of a full-blown communist takeover. <laughs> yeah. It's a scary spot. Yeah. It's scary. Yes. Scary. Clinton Jaws. Joe Rogan. Man, he unloads on Canada today. This just happened today. The things he says, and I'm going to show you, he says way more than that. <laughs> what he says about Trudeau and to Trudeau, I'm like, I feel like I can't say, even I live in Canada. I feel like I can't talk like Joe Rogan. He's allowed to talk about Canada like that, but I feel living in Canada that I'm not allowed to say it. I'm not allowed to talk like that or something bad or I can get arrested and I don't want to get arrested. That's where it's leading. Just listen to what these two guys say about Canada. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> not to mention like they're like I'm moving to Canada and I'm like, you think That's Canada? Worse. You think Canada just wants all of our fucking whiners? Yeah, listen, not only that, but Canada has, like, ridiculous free speech laws. They have yeah. hate speech laws. They can come down on you for a lot of things. They seized yeah. up the bank accounts of people that were protesting the truckers. Oh, that was, that was the, a fun the time. The truckers, the people that were donating yeah. to the truckers, they seized their bank accounts. Like, yeah, that's not a good place. Yeah. It's not a good place under this administration, at least. Yeah, where do you go? They went sideways. Canada was an amazing place 10 years ago. You go to Canada 10 years ago, it was awesome. I was always saying that I love Canada. It's like 20% less douchebags. What do, you, what do you like in Canada? I love Montreal. It's Montreal's beautiful. amazing. It's beautiful city. I love Toronto. I love Vancouver. Vancouver's, I love Canada. Vancouver's one of the most beautiful cities. I don't cities. go to Canada anymore. But Ever? I, no. Don't do a gig there? No, not while that guy's president. Fuck you. Yeah, or but that, whatever but, but, he is. Well, Prime these people minister. are fans of yours. They want to see you. You get rid of that guy. I'll come back. I just don't trust any of it up there. Yeah. I just think that they're they're so far into tyranny right now. Like the laws that they're passing, the shit that they're doing, they're, the erosion of people's rights. Like I don't want to support it. Mm. I think it's fucking horrible. Yeah, but I think a lot of people there just want to laugh. I think people need a laugh. You know? Oh yeah, they definitely need a laugh. They're, yeah. they're in the middle of a full blown communist takeover. <laughs> yeah, it's a scary spot. Yeah, it's scary. But it used to be amazing. I, I used to say that Canada's 20% less douchebags. Like, the people are 20% nicer than most people that you meet in America. They're, yeah, they're polite. That's, that's why they get roped into all this shit. That's why they get roped into hate speech laws, because they want to be kind. They want to be good people. And they don't realize, like, compelled speech has a terrible ending. It always ends in communism, because someone mm. has to compel that speech. Who does? The people with guns. And they tell you what to do. Yeah. And then you have violence that is enforced to get people to follow a doctrine that they may or may not believe in. Canada has gone sideways. Joe Rogan's not coming back to Canada until Trudeau's gone. I had tickets for Joe Rogan in 2020. He canceled it. He's not coming back to Canada. And I don't blame him. And I agree with everything that he just said. I don't know. Let's hope Poliev gets in. I need to make a shirt. Bring back Rogan. 